This is an LED. And when we use LEDs in circuits, we always use a series resistor. Let me explain why. So here I've drawn a very simple series circuit consisting of a battery, a resistor, and an LED. As we can see, the LED is lit perfectly. This is because we're using the correct value resistor, which is causing a current of 0.02 amps or 20 milliamps to throw through the LED. If we swap that resistor for a much larger value resistor, we can see that the LED is still lit, but now it is much dimmer. And the current flowing through it is so small that it's not even shown on our scale here. If we used a much lower value resistor, a much higher current would flow through the LED and the LED itself could become damaged. I've looked at the data sheet for this LED and the voltage it requires, which is known as the forward voltage, is 3 volts. So across the LED we have 3 volts. And in this example, we're going to use one of these batteries, and these supply 9 volts. How do we calculate the value of this resistor? We use Ohm's law. We're going to use Ohm's law to calculate the value of the resistor required in this circuit. We divide the voltage across the resistor by the current that we want to flow through it. Now we know the current is 20 milliamps from the data sheet for the LED and we know that the voltage across the resistor is 6 volts. This is because it is the 9 volts from the battery less the 3 volts that is dropped across the LED. So we now have 6 volts divided by 20 milliamps is 0.02 amps which gives us a resistor value of 300 ohms. Now resistors unfortunately aren't available in every single value we might want to have. This resistor is actually 330 ohms. This is because it's the nearest available value that's manufactured to 300 ohms and that is what we'll use in our circuit.